What's up, Cassell? Welcome to my gear. Come on in. Uh, don't worry about wiping your feet. Um, I don't really care, so let's go. All right, so welcome to the first part of my house. This is my ping. I keep my wood and coal in here. Uh, that's my fuel for the winter to keep me nice and toasty. Uh, Mongolians also use pings as a place to keep their meat during the winter. Um, it's because a, a lot of Mongolians might not have fridges, so uh, why not keep it out here? Uh, keep it uh, keeps it safe for the animals, and um, yeah, it's a little nice little area to um, kind of house stuff in here too. Because as you can see, I got my wood. And I got some garbage right here. So yeah, that's about it. All right, now that we got done with the ping, let's enter the gear. Or when we walk in, I got some pictures of my family here, as you can see, and some lovely postcards. I gotta have my families uh, on my door because every time I walk out of the gear, I get to see their beautiful faces. So yeah, here's my gear. All right, so I'm going to apologize. My film crew is off today, so everything uh, that is going to be filmed today is going to be first person, all right? So get over it, all right? That's all I can do by myself. All right, so this is the first part of my gear. This is where I keep all my shoes, nice and orderly. I actually had to clean up this gear uh, before I made this video. Um, and this is actually my walk-in closet. Um, as you can see, I got my shoes over here, I got some clothes over here, um, so yeah, a lot of people don't have walk-in closets, I do. Alright, so you might be asking yourself, what is this big old giant metal bowl right here? Well, folks, this is a multi-purpose metal bowl. I, one, I bathe in this thing, two, I wash my dishes in this thing, and three, I wash my clothes in this thing. Um, yeah, I'll actually show you how I uh, bathe in this really quick. Hold on. All right, so this is how I bathe. I just hop in this bad boy, just like this, fill it up with some hot water, get a little cup, and just go to town. As you can see, I got my loofah right there, got my towels, that's all I need. So I got my little closet right here. So I keep all my nice sweaters. Nice sweaters right here. Got my suit jacket. Gotta look fresh when it comes to business meetings and stuff like that. When you walk over here, I got my little treat box. My family is so nice and friends have sent me so many treats. Chocolates, uh, whatever I can ask for. Essentially, I got it. And I gotta keep my hometown close to me. Got my Chicago flag, sadly. When the snow is melting, we got a lot of rain, or I got a lot of rain um, seeping through my gear, which was really unfortunate, but it's um, all right. This thing's still holding strong. And uh, yeah, got all my clothes right here. No big deal. I got a box for my uh, laundry bin right there. Come Christmas time, I got my uh, Christmas tree right there. Um, Mongolians like to put money um, on their trees, little tiny bills. This is a 10, I believe. Um, no, this is a 50. Uh, I can't even do the conversion right now of uh, how much that is. It's only a couple cents. So here's my bed. This thing actually is quite comfy. I got a lot of layers right there. Uh, and also, I got a bug net to keep the spiders off me at night. Um, we don't have really have many mosquitoes here. Uh, it's mostly just spiders and tiny bugs that um, I put that over me during the summertime to keep that out of my bed because I hate spiders. All right, now that I showed you my walk-in closet and my big old bedroom, let's go into a little bit of the kitchen area. So here is where I keep all of my snacks, chips, vitamins, coffee, all my spices. You gotta have the spices. I mean gotta make your food, your food really tasty. Um, you know, I got your garlic, got your oregano, I got your salt, you got your chili powder. Oh yeah, got my Swiss Miss. My friend sent me that. Oh, it's so good. I actually can get sriracha here. I am so grateful I can get that here. Toss this on my eggs in the morning. It's quite delicious. 
And then, um, yeah, I got my French press. I got my little egg holder here. Keeps my eggs all nice and toasty. Little house for them. And, um, yeah, this essentially is my stove. This is all I got. I got two burners, one and two. I can crank this bad boy up to one, two, three, or four. Um, yeah, I got my uh, rice cooker here, my water boiler. I got one pan for everything. And I got this, <laughs> uh, this thing right here, uh, this pot. I actually have uh, dirty dishes in here. I was letting them soak. Um, because I'm going to be doing dishes later on. So PJ, Frank, and Riley asked me what kind of foods do I eat. Um, I live in a very tiny Somme, so I can't get a lot of uh, produce here or a lot of um, other foods that bigger cities can get. So I eat a lot of uh, potatoes, rice, um, meat, um, soups, essentially anything that I can get my hands on. I can at least get peppers here. Um, I can get some carrots, uh, so it all depends. I eat a lot of eggs um, and bread and PB&Js. Um, so yeah, it's kind of how I get through. Uh, that's pretty much about my, my diet is here. <laughs> all right, let's take a walk in my office here. Over here is my kind of my office uh, storage and my nightstand. I got everything right here that I need every day almost. Baby wipes, these things are a essential here in Mongolia. Um, I don't have a shower, so these things are what I use to kind of every day kind of wipe myself down, keep myself nice and fresh, uh, and also I use it to wipe down uh, my table and things like that. Gotta, gotta, gotta have your toilet paper, um, and deodorant, cologne, lotion, kind of keep yourself nice and fresh every day here. Um, got my calendar, Mongolian calendar right here. Mongolians love their horses. That's one of their, actually probably one of their biggest sports here is uh, horse racing and wrestling. Um, and then over here is my desk. Watch movies here, work on projects, um, eat my breakfast, eat my dinner, kind of just study. Um, this is kind of where I'm at 24, not 24 seven, but most of my time is spent um, at this desk right here. All right, let's take a walk into the kitchen. Uh, it's kitchen part two, actually. Um, I got my fridge right here. Got some peanut butter right there. Um, got some treats. So essentially, this is a bowl filled with chocolates and candies. Uh, it's tradition to when you walk into a gear, you're given um, or you're handed this type of bowl or any type of bowl that has candies in it um, or other breads or other treats. Um, and you're also given tea when you're walked when you come into a gear. And I don't even want to show you what's in my fridge because I pretty much have nothing in here. Um, this is very, very sad. Uh, this might be the, the saddest fridge I've ever seen in my life. Um, most of the food I cook is kind of just potatoes, onions, uh, soups. So I don't have much to keep in here. Um, yeah, please don't make fun of me. Um, I haven't gone shopping in a while either, so I don't have much in here. Um, see, I don't even have anything in my freezer. Uh, no meat, because um, I get that from my Hasha family that I live with. Uh, they give me a lot of meals. And I got some pictures here of my family and some letters that I've received. Um, keep my spirits up. And over here is where I prep my food. Uh, kind of get things organized, uh, wash my dishes, uh, kind of my go-to place. And then I got some storage over here. Um, let me walk over here. I got my sink and my garbage can. Uh, so I don't have indoor plumbing. Um, so all my water is stored in this big old bin right here. Um, as you can see, got my water in there. And I pour the water into here, do my dishes, brush my teeth, whatever. And then all the water goes into that bucket when I have to then empty it all the time it gets filled up. So Melody asked me how I get my water. Um, so like I said, I don't have any indoor plumbing. So the only way that we can get water um, in my home, and it's, it's widespread all throughout Mongolia, um, 
mostly. There's some housing developments that you can probably get into plumbing, but here in my home, the only way to get water is you have to walk to the well and fill up your buckets. A lot of people have carts that they put um, these big thing, these big things on there. Walk to the well, fill it up, and then walk right back to their house. Um, or I'm lucky because my uh, Hasha family actually has a car, so I just put this thing in their trunk. They drive to the well, they fill it up, bring it back, and then me and my Hasha dad, uh, we just carry it uh, right in my dare and just plop it right here. Uh, I go through probably one of these a week. Um, this does my dishes, uh, my bathing, and my washing clothes, and drinking water. So, yeah. All right, let's go and dump this water out into the dump over by the bathroom. So yeah, I have to do this pretty much every single day. Walk out here, get my water, and go dump it. Hopefully no one's in the bathroom right now. Actually, pit stop. Here's my hasha dues. Sano! down into that hole. Alright, here's my bathroom. This is where everyone goes in. So yep, there's my bathroom. And there's the hole. That's it. Awesome, isn't it? So this is my stove. I put all my wood uh, in this little bucket here, it's my bucket. This is where I put all my coal. And this is the bad stove that I got. Actually bad, I'm saying, is not referring to it as being a bad stove, but it's bad because it's awesome and it keeps me warm um, during the winter. And the winter here can get very cold, probably about negative 30 or negative 40 degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit so yeah uh, I made a fire last night uh, some coal right there uh, so yeah I just pretty much stack it up kind of get the fire going throw a bunch of wood in there and then once the wood kind of dies down then I throw a bunch of coal on top of that and then close it up and then my gear is warm for um, several hours um, and then this uh, pipe right here I have to remove it um, and put it right there and bang it to get all the uh, coal residue out of that so that uh, my gear does not get filled up with smoke um, and I don't suffocate. Um, so yeah, it goes right out there and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I stay warm in the winter and uh, I sometimes I have to keep this thing going. Well, during the winter I have to keep it going all the time. Um, otherwise things in my gear gets frozen. Um, but um, I have to keep the fire going probably like three times a day maybe. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now that you got a look inside of my gear, let's walk outside and see what's going on out here. So this is my view. Every morning, every day I walk outside of my gear. This is what I get to look at. All right, let's take a walk around my gear. There it is. It's pretty much just a big old circle. Um, these are bricks with uh, some rope tied up to it. This is what kind of keeps it down and steady um, and in place from it preventing it from uh, blowing away. Um, right now I got my gear winterized. I put sand on the outer ring of the gear to keep the cold wind from blowing in. Um, it's actually really windy out today as you can see. That is my rain flap right there. And you can see the cord running right there. So if it starts raining out, I have to untie all that and then flip over the rain flap and tie it down on the other side. So if I'm in the, my gear 
it starts raining, I have to run outside and uh, tie that damn thing down so I don't get a bunch of rain inside. Um, I got my electricity line right here being held up by this stick. Um, and that just goes all the way over to my Hasha family's house. And um, yeah, this is the rest of my gear. Essentially, that's it. Um. So there's my gear over there. And this is my Hasha family's house. So I don't live alone per se. I do live alone in my gear. So one person there is me. And then in this house, there is five. Mother, father, and three children. And there's two of them right there. He's three, and she is one. And this is our chicken coop. We get some fresh eggs. I don't think you've got a chicken coop, do you? Nope. Look at them. We got a few of them. Eggs are actually really good. These are our garbage cans. This is uh, where we put all our trash and then we burn it. We don't have any uh, garbage men to come pick it up and dump it. So we have to burn it. And then we take these, put them in that truck, and then drive all the way over there and dump it up. All right, you all came, visited me. Thank you for that. Uh, I saw my gear, how I've been living for the past uh, year or so. Uh, so I hope you liked your tour. But now it's time for you to kind of get out of here. So, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Later.